Oh, Hi, good morning, yeah, folk. Yes, yeah, we are. Listen, you look mighty fetching in that new hat. Thank you very much. That was some storm, huh? Yes, it was. Is your street clear? Yes, we got through no trouble at all. Oh, uh, Rick, messages for you. Thanks. And Dana Hutchkins called. She'll meet you in your office, both of you. Said as soon as you came in. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, Jesse, I gotta move, too. I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay. okay. Rick. Okay. Uh, everything work out okay for Scotty and Laura after you found her in the park? Well, yesterday everything seemed to be fine. Uh, Claudia and Brian stopped by their place. They had a party to uh, usher in the first snowfall of the year. She seemed to be her old self again. Uh, this morning, things are a little different. This morning she left the apartment on her way back for the first time to her exercise class. Supposedly just on top of everything. But Scotty says that's just a facade. He says something is still troubling her. Yes, Scotty thinks she's still shaken up from Roy's death. And he's convinced that Roy's the man who raped her. And she wouldn't have said any of these things if it hadn't been for the fear that he'd come back after her again. But the man is dead. All she'd have to do is say that she lied out of fear when she said the guy was tall and blonde. Laura has a history, you know, of lying and then covering up. Maybe that's what's bothering her about this. find you here. Hi, baby. I remember whenever you got upset, you used to come up here and start looking at my baby pictures. Yeah, uh -huh. you're not a baby there. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's not my favorite picture. No, I love it. I think that's the nicest thing Barbara Vining ever did, was to give me all your childhood pictures so I could share in your growing up. Well, that was when she thought I was going to be staying with her. Are you ever sorry that you didn't? No. I'm only sorry that I didn't grow up with you my whole life. Then maybe I wouldn't be so mixed up. Oh. Why? You cry? Oh, well, you know me in holidays. I'm overly sentimental. I think it's a lot more than that, Mother. Dad told me about the test that Dana Hotchkiss ran. He said that you can't safely have another child. Well, it's certainly nothing to get all weepy over. All I have to do is wait a little while and I'll be your grandmother and I can spoil your children. There's something I have to, to tell you. There's something I have to talk to you about. I, I was going to put it off, but... I guess now that we're alone, maybe. What is it? Is something wrong? Mother, I missed my last period. I'm oh. almost three weeks late. Oh, Lord. That's not all either. See, this morning after I ate breakfast, I got really sick. I had to not believe it. It's pretty awful, isn't it? Oh, have you seen Dana? No. Oh, Laura, why not? Because she's away on vacation. I can't see her if she isn't here. You just told me it's been three weeks. Why did you wait so long? I don't know exactly. But, you know, when I first talked to Dana, she said that I might miss a period, or even two, because of the trauma of what happened to me. She said if I did, I wasn't supposed to worry about it. This is not worrying. This is checking up on things. Well, I, I had the first test the night that it happened, and I was all right then. Sure, all that proves is that if you are pregnant now, it's not Scotty's baby you're carrying, which is not a whole lot of comfort at a time like this. No. I know you're right. What am I going to do? Um, you are, by law, allowed the right to a therapeutic abortion in this state if you become pregnant as the result of a rape. Yes. I know that. Everyone has been explaining that to me. The trouble is, I don't know if I could go through with that. You don't? How could I take another human being's life and live with myself? Yes, well, it's a, it's a very hard decision to have to make. I know. I had to make it myself once. You? Yeah. When, uh, when I found out I was pregnant after Cameron had just died, I didn't want his baby. I felt I couldn't have it, and, uh, so I made an appointment in New York to have an abortion. You did? Mm -hmm. What happened? Well, 
I got into town. I checked into the hospital. Everything was all set. And then I... I couldn't go through with it. As it happened, of course, I needn't have gone through all that agonizing because, as you know, I miscarried and the baby died anyway. I think I... I feel now the way you must have felt when you were in New York. If it turns out that I really am pregnant, I just don't know if I could deny a child the right to live. Oh, maybe I do understand what you're going through. But no one can or should make that decision but you. 